Hi lovelies, so this video is about the Doug Flutie Jr. Gala. All right. So Doug Flutie is a famous person in, in Massachusetts. He was in the NFL, I believe. I don't know much about football, but I knew the name. Like, I knew he was part of the football community or whatever. So what happens is, uh, Doug Flutie's oldest son, I don't, I don't know if he has more than one, but oldest son has autism. And he's 27. And they have a foundation that's been around 20 years. Doug Flutie Jr. Uh, foundation. So my friend, who's part of the nonprofit that I guess I'm a part of too, like, you know, I always say I'm a part of, kind of say I'm a part of, right? Like, I do stuff with them and I help them when I can. But as an autism single mom, time is of the essence for me and I don't have a lot of time for things. So when she asked me to be a part of the board or whatever, I said, well, I can't do that per se, but anything I can help you with, I will help you with that I have time to do because I also work a full-time job so I am part of it it's called autism sprinter it is online on Facebook and um, in person so they do have a lot of events in person that you can bring your kids to or things to educate parents and stuff like that so she calls me Yahara calls me and she's like, you know, I got tickets to the Doug Flutie Gala. You want to come? And I was like, no, I don't want to come. And she was like, why? And I was like, because I don't have a dress. I've gained a lot of weight <laughs> in this autism journey just from stress alone. And I don't want to come because I don't want to find a freaking dress. She's like, you're coming. You're, you're showing your book. And just get the fuck over it. Excuse my French. Get the F over it and uh, find a dress. So there happened to be a holiday coming up, but Ava still had school. So that worked out. So I went to the mall, I found a dress. I wasn't totally happy with the dress, but I'm not totally happy with myself, so I don't feel like I would have been totally happy with any dress. And I got a girdle, a dress, a bra, and shoes. Okay, all black. I'll show you a picture in here somewhere. So we go to the gala. It was completely freaking gorgeous. I got some B-roll and stuff that I will enter in here somewhere. They raised a lot of money. I, I got to talk to several people. I got to talk to people at the ARC. I don't know much about the ARC, but I know that they're working on legislation for autism. So I got to talk to her. And um, I really, really liked her. And we chit chat because she has two nonverbals. And I have a nonverbal. So there's like a vibe when you have nonverbals. You know what I mean? Like, it's just an instant connect because we're kind of dealing with the same thing. Like, and her kids are older. And um, what happened was we created these gift baskets. So the gift baskets like had my book in each one and it had other stuff in there too. And we left it in the back. Yeah, for them like to hand out after everything was over. So then I had brought three books in with me, but they were at our table, right? So after that, you know, after talking and they raised the money or whatever, there was something that Laura Flutie said that made me cry. And I actually think I have it on tape. And if I have it on tape, I'll drop it in. He doesn't really say a lot of words. And I'm gonna get emotional saying He doesn't really say a lot of words. But in the last month he's been saying mama. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> um so it's just really I don't know, it just really is so unbelievable to see his progress, see him look me right in the eye and say, Mama, and then literally do this. <laughs> so she made me cry because she was like, at 27, her son said mama. And I felt that. 
I felt that. I wanted to cry myself. I was tearing up because my child is five. Well, she'll be five in a month. And she has not used those words. And, you know, when I thought of having a baby and getting pregnant, you know, I never thought I'd have to wait to hear the words mommy or mama or something saying that I belong to her. You know, and she... <laughs> I'm gonna cry. And she belongs to me. You know what I mean? Like, mama is such... I didn't realize how much of a privilege that word is. You know what I mean? And when you have a nonverbal child that has yet to say any words, you you have other signs that they belong to you and they know they belong to you, but those words mean so much. So when she said it, you know, I had no inclination to go talk to this woman before this. Because, you know, they're like famous and rich and this is their freaking foundation, right? So I go up there after everything's over and I'm like, they're all talking to her. And I said to her, you know, I get a second. And I said, you know, what you said made me cry because, you know, my daughter's nonverbal. And she didn't, you know, I said it, spit it out. And I said, you made me cry. You know, I want to hear mama too. So then people were like pulling her in all different directions, like, oh, let's take a picture with her. She's like, look, I really want to talk to you. And I'm like, eh, you know, thinking not a big deal. You know, this is their foundation. It was beautiful. It was great. They raised so much money for autism and they do stuff in the community. Like, so she went off to take the pictures and whatever. And I waited about five minutes and then I'm like, oh, you know. I let her do her thing. It's not that important, you know, thinking to myself, little old me, right? Little old six foot me. So I kind of leave and then I find my friend Yahara and I'm like, look, I want to pass out these books. So I found um, Terry. Uh, hi, Terry. Is she watching this from the, um, from the autism insurance? Because me and Terry done been through the wars. Like Terry done helped the sister. In so many freaking ways, like, to manage the insurance of Massachusetts, because I'll tell you this, they do not make it freaking easy. They don't make it easy, and Terry is a godsend, like, and if you ever need to know who Terry is, like, in Massachusetts, I will forward you her email, but she don't hook the sister up and she ain't never even, at this point when she started hooking me up i never even met this woman you know it was totally via email and then i went to a special needs conference and then i met her in person and we just hit it off so i really wanted to give her a book so i found terry give her a book she's like oh my god you need to sign it da, da, da. she just made my night and then i think her name is miranda i do not remember the other woman's name i have to look at my facebook but i had to find the other woman i couldn't find her and i told Yahara, i was like she's from the ark da, 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 da. she's like does she have red hair and then she showed me a picture of her. i was like yes so i was like she found her for me while like walking around and she found her and i gave her a book and she like made her night she was so excited to get this book so then we're just chit chatting from the right comes up Laura Flutie and she was so gracious and she was a remarkable woman like remarkable so freaking down to earth and she's just talking to us and I'm telling her how she just moved me with what she said and how I feel this like I just want to hear the word mama and she taught us and my friends like take a picture with the book and she took a picture with the book I gave her a copy of the book it was just, it made my night. It made my month. It made my freaking year. It just made all the difference. She came and found me. I couldn't believe it, right? Couldn't believe that this woman came and found me. Then, I'm on Instagram, right? Click, click, click on Instagram, just, you know. So, um, I follow the Doug Flutie Foundation, and they put up something about the gala. And I said, I, I put up a note like, oh, I had such a great night. You know what I mean? Thank you. Or whatever. I put up something. And this is like 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. Someone responded back. And she's like, oh, I'm glad you had such a great night. I couldn't come. I think you met my mom. And I'm like, okay, who's your mom? You know, I met a lot of amazing people. And she was like, my mom's Laura Flutie. I could not believe this. And she's like, oh, I think your book's amazing or something to that effect. Like, 
This is making me fall to freaking pieces. Like, I cannot believe all this happened to me <laughs> for my gala. I didn't want to go to because I felt fat in my dress or I felt fat in general. Like, how does this happen? <laughs> So, I just want to say that it's a beautiful foundation. They do a lot, and they do a lot of grassroots. Like, it gets to the parents directly and to the students or the autistic, you know, people directly. So, I really love their foundation. I couldn't have had a better freaking time. And I think her name's Miranda. I have to look. So, all the women and all the people I met were amazing. And hopefully I'll go again next year. I, I won't try to go ne against next year. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Holla back.